Dollar. Hey, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Skyrim Mods Fortnite series, where today we are having a look at the Astronomer's Attic mod, which is being made by user Queen Academy. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely magnificent new tiny player home for you to enjoy. And this place is awesome. Not only is it in wonderfully centrally located Whiterun, but it has a load of custom astronomy themed assets, thus the name Astronomer's Attic, and also has some pretty cool interactive elements inside that, you know, can kind of change things up a bit, which is really frigging cool. Plus, I mean, the whole place is just decorated beautifully. It's free to use, just come and find it and use it and with the decoration is perfect for you know if you're wanting an aesthetic for a solitary mage or alchemist something along those lines very cool indeed so let's actually check out things a bit more closely and specifically of course where we find it now as mentioned we are here in white run and the new apartment itself is found at the back of arcadia's cauldron and it goes by the name the astronomer's loft now heading on inside to the entrance stairwell you got a lot in this tiny little place in the entrance you've got of course the stairs but also some good storage and even an eat-in cooking area because hey it's a loft you gotta make use of all that tiny amount of space as best as possible now once you do head up the stairs you have the main and only room that's sort of split into two halves the first half Half is really more geared towards research and magical enchanting, alchemy, etc., as well as, of course, a ton of storage. Now, the other side is more for your sleeping, sitting, and even planting of some of your alchemical ingredients, as there are a number of planters in that area. And uh, no matter which side of the loft you go to, you've got, as mentioned a couple of times, loads of storage, some absolutely gorgeous decorations, as you just saw. Again, I really do love all those custom astronomy-themed things. They are just beautiful but let's take a bit closer of a look at things here and well of course we're at the back of arcadia's cauldron where you find the door to the astronomer's loft specifically on the sort of eastern side of the building now before we go in i do want to point out one hey, thing normally i would like to have better cities white run installed and there's not really a problem but a slight issue if you have that installed as there will be a tree right here big old tree right here in these rocks now you can still get into the astronomer's loft with the tree it just uh is there then you gotta walk through it it's a minor thing but yes just keep that in mind if you do like the better city mod packs but let's head on in and into the entrance stairwell and one thing you'll notice throughout this entire place is well, besides all the cool astronomy stuff, a lot of decorative objects. Now, like with a lot of player homes, these are just uh, built-in static decorative objects, which are great because they look good, but downside, which means you can't loot them. But my word, do they look good. I love the bookshelves along the stairs there. But as for the usable portions of this entranceway, on the left-hand side is sort of our eat-in area where we have some bread storage right there, as well as two bar stools for sitting. We also do have an adventurer's gear here, which is, you know, just one of the many bits and bobs of storage right by the door. Very neat. And we also do have right here a keys bit, so storing all of your various keys you don't need anymore right there on the hangar now on the right hand side of the door well here's your kitchen gotta love it got loads of storage for various things we got vegetables apples we've got like baking goods up there cheese and even sweets just a lot of good stuff we also do have some herbs that you can harvest right here and then our actual stove which as you can see right now I can't use but that's because we haven't gotten the stove ready to be used if we look on the shelf here to this pot there is prepare food so if you click on that pot it now goes down here with a variety of things and uh, if we actually get in the right angle there we go we can now use 
that as a cooking pot to actually do all of your various cooking here in the entranceway. I do quite like that. And when you're all done with it, you just go back to the same spot where the pot was and you put it back and boom, it's just a normal sort of, well, side table almost, except definitely stove-esque. Good times. It's one of the cool interactive bits here. Now, if we head on up, another cool feature here on the stairwell is we have a load of different alchemy uh, objects sitting along this edge. Everything from dragon's tongue to mora, tapanella, etc. So a lot of cool things you can harvest. Now, heading on up, you can see we also do have one of the uh, activate soil elements here for planting your own various herbs, etc., as well as some more along the side right here and over here, as well as over the bed. Just wanted to point out all the little grow pots. Uh, very cool. Now, also, sort of keeping to the uh, right-hand side for now, we've got a shrine to Julianos. Some more awesome... Jesus, just awesome paintings and everything everywhere. Love it. We also do have right here a sort of a place to store your money. Oh boy, where's the interaction spot? There it is, where we can search for septums. So that's, you know, a nice little bit for putting your extra cash. We also do have some stave storage right here, which is quite cool. And then a lovely table. Now this is another one of the interactive elements where if we click it, we can have it set up for snacking, drinking, reading, or planning. Planning your next adventure out in the world, and boom, there you go. You can switch it up to whichever of these you do desire. Very cool indeed. And, of course, we have a nice little chair we can sit in right here, which is always lovely. Always good to have more chairs. All right, so we get out of that thing and continue on with the right-hand side. Oh, my. This is your magic stuff. As for the crafting and enchanting you know we've got the arcane enchanter we've got the alchemy lab we've got a uh a stave instanter a, the stave enchanter right here for working with staffs perfect there's the interaction spot specifically for that but then we also have a ton of different storage elements in this place we've got soul gems down here hearthstones there we've got potions and poisons various ingredients we've got alchemical recipe storage over there artifact storage just storage galore throughout this portion for all your various things very very cool indeed now moving along we have a lovely bookshelf for books notes and scrolls we also do have some more scroll storage down here another just gorgeous desk table for you to use I do love it and uh yeah just looks absolutely gorgeous back here love the little goggles and everything very neat indeed now moving on we just got like a nice little uh corner for your telescopes a little chair to sit in for that not really too much else here except for the activate soil for another growing a pot and then over here is the bedroom area where we do have a nice bench to sit on. We've got a day bed to sleep on, clothing storage back here. And if memory serves, oh boy, where was it? My memory is not serving me. Ah, here it was, here it was. If you go over here, you can actually deploy a guest bed. There is a little roll that like stays back under that right there. And so if you do have a companion with you, boom, they get themselves a nice little bed on the floor. Good times. Good times. <laughs> yeah, just a load of cool stuff. Not only is it gorgeous, set up beautifully with all the decoration, but it's got loads of storage uh, for various goods, all your stuff for magic, and a number of cool interactive objects. Now, of course, there isn't anything for your more traditional weapons crafting or leatherworking, etc., but you are in Whiterun and all those can be found quite close by for you to use this is really more geared to like i said earlier kind of a solitary mage alchemist or even i do like all the clockwork stuff maybe even an artificer build if that's what you're going for here in the game and it is free to uh use you just come right on in and start using the place and enjoy the beauty of the astronomer's attic mod so if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself which i'd certainly recommend you go and do it's just 
magnificent. You can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, well, thank you for watching. As always, well, have a good one.